Hello everyone. I'm Meena Norona and I'm back with another episode of Walk the Special Path. Today we have a very wonderful and special guest today, Mrs. Swarna Pai. She beats all odds and you can say she is so determined and she has uh, taken to task and come forward uh, defeating all her challenges. She is visually challenged but nobody can say because she is one big warrior for all of us. She has been visually challenged since childhood. Despite that, she has passed her senior secondary from Delhi and uh, diploma in counseling from Roshan Nilaya. She is presently running Sarva Mangla Trust along with her husband uh, and it helps all challenged people. She is independent in all her work. She is married and has kids. She is running this trust, helping so many of them since past few years. We'll be in discussion with her and she's an inspiration to so many of them out there. When you feel you really can't do something in life, just have a look at the uh, life of Mrs. Swarna Pai. Welcome Mrs. Swarna to our show today. Thank you ma'am. So how are you feeling uh, coming here? Yeah, I'm feeling very good. I'm, I'm very nice. Thank you ma'am. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. Ma'am, I know that uh, you said you're visually challenged and despite that you do so many things. Yes. When exactly you became visually challenged because you know it's an inspiration for others. Yes, yes. So I would like to ask how did it happen and what are the circumstances that led to it? Yeah, I, I'll uh, explain now. I, just, I became visually impaired, I can say it's almost my childhood. Like uh, uh, when I was a small child, people used to recognize me as a visually impaired only at home and hometown also. So I feel like uh, I'm a, a visually challenged because I can't, I can't say anything that time. And I, I only uh, can see only the uh, daylight and night, somehow moon, I could see. My father used to show me that moon and all. And uh, I, do, I don't know what is the color, which color, nothing. I, I, uh, I don't see anything that time. So I was uh, at home only that time. I, I was very small child and uh, uh, I think I can say that time only. Okay. Uh, Any uh, sickness you had ma'am which led to it or? Uh no, I didn't had any sickness when I was child, but uh, after grown up, I come to know I had uh, many uh, diseases in my eyes, seven kind of diseases, oh, okay. myopia, uh, glaucoma, keratoconus, many things. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I, you have never given up, I can no. see. Uh, uh, what sort of support uh, did you get ma'am like when you just became visually challenged? Uh, my father used to support me very well, but uh, in not kind of uh, school going support and all. He used to support me with the medications, many medications he used to do when villages. When we, we were staying in one small village called Kadaba, they were, he was doing many medications that didn't suit me actually. Okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't suit you and that was like in quite a few years Correct. back. Now we have still more, you know, developed medicines etc. I think yeah. that time it was not so much. Yeah. But now I don't have desire to see the world. <laughs> okay, oh, because I think you have done so much Correct. and you have achieved so much in life. I think you don't uh, longer need to see no. to achieve something. Yes. That's really wonderful and inspiring ma'am. Now I would like to ask you like you know, uh, what challenges you faced? I can imagine you know, a normal person who can see here and all, all has so many challenges. You despite being visually challenged, I think you must have had a lot of challenges yes. earlier and now also. Can yes. you tell us some of the challenges which you are facing? Uh, now, uh, can I tell uh, now? Yeah, present, now what uh, you are facing ma'am? Uh, actually in Mangaluru, I don't get any support from people. I feel like that. That is a, my big challenge because I was in Bangalore before. So okay. I used to get lots of uh, help from uh, people that I can say. But uh, it's my hometown, so I don't want to say also. But I understand, Nick, uh, because if you tell us, uh, the yeah. society will be more aware yeah. and will be an example to others. I give an example for you. Like uh, when I was in Bangalore, okay. I, I used to drink uh, that roadside tea and all. When my I use white stick, okay. When when uh, my white stick fell down, that uh, chai wala person came and took came down and took it and gave it to me. Okay. Here it's not possible. No one is caring. I mean, no one is uh, supporting. I think so. Okay, they don't help exactly. No, like no helps. Like and and when I went, uh, once I went uh, in uh, Mangalore by my stick, so one auto fell scolding me very badly. Oh, it happened in Mangalore, Yes, ma? yes. Oh my God. I mean, uh, three years back. It's really a sad situation. I think people should be more aware. Yes. Supportive. I think yes. you know they are not supportive. You mentioned here. Yes, ma'am. 
So I think uh, th uh, through examples of what you have said, hope it uh, reaches this message, reaches people out there to be more supportive, so that mm -hmm. more and people, uh, more people, you know, can b get independent like yes. you are. Yes. So earlier also you faced these challenges, ma'am. Earlier, as you were growing up. Yeah. At, actually, earlier I was at home only. I was not going out because of my uh, visually impairment. My mom, uh, my sibling, my father passed away. After that, they were protecting me more. So okay. I was not able to go anywhere. I used to listen radio and uh, I get knowledge through that. Okay. Yeah. So you could not study Braille or something like that. I studied after grown up. Actually, I can say okay. because uh, when when I was small uh, small girl, I had a desire to go to school and I had a play with I had a desire to play with other children, but no one is including me. <laughs> right. That that is a sad situation yeah. of India. No, you know? we can't say any, uh, blame them because they don't know what to do with this girl, Karke. Because this is this is a other different case them uh, from the other disability no i think the awareness is lacking yes among people once the awareness is there yeah. and they should accept yes then only we can make a better uh, society i think and life will be better correct so i uh, that's an example to others please please accept yeah. uh, we want to create awareness for visually challenged so they are part of the society we have to embrace them and support them in, in any way possible yeah i would like to say one thing i that uh, situation uh, hurted me very badly so i w uh, wanted to do something in mangalore that's why i came to mangalore okay that's wonderful i think yes. it's a uh, good luck of mangalore that you are doing such uh, yeah. wonderful things now yes despite all of your challenges yes uh, now you have uh, mentioned that you did your diploma in counseling uh, from roshni lahir yes so what made you choose this profession being despite uh, like you visually challenge you could not see but you would like to help others yeah so Be for that or what exactly made you choose this profession when i was teenager i was in dilemma because of uh, taking of uh, thinking of my career so i no one is gui uh, there for guiding me you know because my father was not there if he's alive also he would have not guide me this way he would right. guide me other way because they don't know what to do with the visually impaired karke. So my mother supported me well, but other than that, no one supported me. That when I was teenager, they, she's also don't know how to support me. What about your family members, your brothers, sisters? Yeah, they uh, they uh, have, because they're also grow, growing with me only. No, they're also teenagers. They also don't know how to deal with me. No. I think that knowledge is not there. Knowledge, knowledge was not there. Now at that least time, it's yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Because now it's uh, many medias are there and uh, social media is there. So YouTube is there. So uh, from that people gain knowledge. Before that was not there actually. Right, right. Yeah. And through this also, uh, through this channel News Karnataka, we are trying to you know create more and more awareness. That's a good that, thing. Uh, yeah. Society should be aware of these things. There are people around you. Yes. Have to be sympathetic or empathetic at least. Sympathy we don't need. Actually, we need empathy only. Empathy. Yeah. That's correct. That's yeah. correct. Uh, it's no people should be more aware that you know we have to be so uh, part of this society and you have to embrace them and you know yeah. take uh, them along with us. Correct. They're not different. They are just like us. Maybe lacking in uh, different ways. Yeah. But uh, if support is very important. Yeah. It's uh, this uh, awareness is there in Delhi, Bangalore, and all because that's the capital city, right? Here right. it's very uh, less actually. Very, very less, I can say. I think that is there for all challenged individuals. I found even when you are especially children and adults, a yeah. uh, lot of facilities are not there, like ramps yes, yes, or disabled yes. toilets. Yes, I can imagine for visually challenged again, it's another bigger challenge. Yeah, especially Clearly. moving around. So, okay. how has this diploma in counseling helped you? To build your self-esteem. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was explaining. Actually, uh, I was teenager. That time, uh, no one was there for guide me. So I that I there and I went to Delhi to study. Then I got one. I met one counselor. Then she was counseling me very well because uh, of all our growth of mine. No, so I was I was thinking I should also become like that. No. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. That uh, inspired me. Uh, that lady inspired me very well. So I thought I will also become one day counselor. That. Uh, uh, visualization became, I mean, uh, made me. It's uh, inspiration study. for yes, you. Yes, yes. Oh, that good. made me study here. I got opportunity to study and I got, uh, became a uh, counselor. Yes. I think becoming a counselor, uh, your dream has come true. Yes, yes. And I hope that is the inspiration to others who are watching you today. Correct. So that they can also, yes. despite all the challenges, they can come up to do such things as you are doing. Yes. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for telling us all these. And I would like to ask you, ma'am, now, despite being visually challenged, you have created an independent life for yourself. Yes. You have married, you have a child. Yeah. Can you tell us this part of your life something? Can you explain so that the viewers know that uh, being visually challenged uh, can't keep you from achieving such a lot? 
Yeah. Not only on the work front, this is your home front. So please, could you describe something about it? Yeah, I will. I will. I will just say that actually, what happens is uh, uh, usually visually impaired girls. No, uh, they right. no one is going to marry them most of the time. Long back, not now. It's the now it's changed. Yes. Yeah. So that time uh, they were uh, family discussing and all. That time it's a very hurting. No, hurting things to right. other uh, who was visually impaired. They say hey, she will not get married. Her sister will get married. That kind of things will be there in families, no? Right. So I will. I thought that time I was thinking I will not become like this. If people, I didn't get uh, give a chance to say people anything. Uh, right. This thing. So just uh, I uh, went to uh, Bangalore to study computer. Okay. Then I met Mr. Muthura. So uh, he was my friend, good friend. So okay. like that uh, we uh, he we proposed each other and uh, we I got married. It was challenge only, but uh, people say uh, ma many people discourage me. Don't get married. It is difficult for you that in the diff. Difficulty also, I I am so happy actually. <laughs> That's wonderful, you know. Even he's lucky, you're lucky that you got to you know meet each other yes, and yes. Uh, you got married. Yeah. Uh, could you tell us like how you made an independent life? I came to know you cook yourself. Yes, yes. You have a child, you take care of yes. your child. So could before, you tell before marriage, uh, I was not able to. I mean, I was not cooking anything because my mother not allow me go to kitchen. So gas oh. and all gas is there. I was my mother is using gas, and she's scared about the gas if uh, blast or something, no? Right, right. Because nothing to scare, but she is scared. Yeah, uh, parents yeah. always overprotective. Yeah. So and they were never give me uh, chance to cook. I have a desire also. So Ash. after marriage, my husband uh, encouraged me to cook because he got one induction stove. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, uh. it's not dangerous, no. And my right, kid, right. I got baby boy. He's also kind of uh, naughty. So gas was not. Uh, this thing, so I use uh, uh, gradually I start uh, cooking, and someone gave me notes, cooking notes, you know, like uh, in computers. Oh, great! Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, so that notes, using that notes, I start one one by one cooking, and uh, now I I can cook perfectly. I can say. And I know I think you entered a cooking competition yes. also. Yes, that's yes, really last good. year. Yeah. Last year. So, how was that experience? Could you tell us? Something? Yeah, it was so nice, uh, and uh, I I didn't get any first prize, second prize, but I, it's a participation. Yeah, participation is important. Yeah, not it's very it all for I, visually challenged man. Yeah, it was. Now also, it's running this year. Anyone? Okay, you're participating in that. I didn't uh, think <laughs> this time. I didn't. <laughs> I hope so. You know, all the best from all of it's us a, here. It is in the international level this time. Oh, that's great! Yeah. I think you know we get, we'll be really proud of you that uh, if you. Go from Mangalore. Yeah. A name of Mangalore will be very yes, proud. Yeah. Yeah. So we wish you good luck, ma'am. Hope you. you participate and let us also know. Thank you. That uh, we can be a part of that in any sure. way. Let us know. Sure. And uh, could you tell us something about your relationship with your child or the husband? So uh, being visually challenged has it affected that uh, uh, relationship? Not really, actually. Uh, I am. I feel I am normal only with them. Oh, they also really don't feel anything. You know? Yeah. They don't. They also don't feel anything uh, difference. Okay. I I all sometimes I feel in my inner mind that my what my child will be feeling, but I never feel my for my husband because he is a nice person. That's good. Yeah. That's really wonderful. You know, yeah. people like that exist. Wonderful to know. Yeah, they should accept. No one once they accept. My mother child also they accept that my mother can't see. Right. Right. So right. But I think he is also as accepted yeah, and uh, he is helping me when I am going out. When oh. when I require something, uh, we are going to road. He is holding me. He is also very helpful. My child. That's so wonderful. I think you know we should uh, put these things in our children at the beginning stage, yes, you know, yes. so that they will be more empathetic to correct, other people. Correct. If we start at home. Yes. Uh, I think as he grows up, he'll be a wonderful human being. Correct. Having you as his mother, so that's really uh, you know very special and very beautiful. Yes. Uh, thank you for sharing that part with us, ma'am. It's like I hope many people out there who are going through different challenges yes. get inspired from uh, Swarna ma'am's life. Now I know, ma'am. Like uh, you have started a Sarva Mangla Trust. Yes. Like uh, despite your difficulties, you want to help others. Yes. So you have started this trust. Can you tell us when you started this trust and what does your trust do? Yeah, sure. Uh, my uh, trust started on 2020. Before that, I would like to share one thing here. Uh, when uh, uh, trust, uh, my trust, I dream one from my childhood. That is my oh, dream. To start a trust. Yes. Oh, that's good. Because I was thinking, like, uh, for everything we need to go out of the city, right? Out of city means out of the 
uh, Bangalore or Delhi, Dehradun, something for visually right. impaired, right? For, so, if, uh, when I was a child, it was in Dehradun only, that uh, Uttarakhand somewhere, no? So, they had a school and all. Here, here nothing was there. And Bangalore, uh, it's not reachable for us that time. So, I used to see the dream that I, I would like to do something. I would keep on uh, dreaming the things. So, uh, when I was in Delhi for study, I went to Delhi. Then I got an uh, opportunity to meet uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Oh, that's really special. Yeah. I think meeting I'm the, the Abdul, uh, Abdul Kalam sir yeah. is a wonderful opportunity. Yes. I'm the only person from Mangalore uh, that time uh, uh, went for his swearing in ceremony. So, okay. he was asking question to children, like, uh, what do you want to become? Like, I was telling him that time, I mean, he's, he was asking like that, uh, in 2020, what do you want to achieve goals like that, no? Okay. So, I was ask, I was telling that I want to open one uh, trust in my hometown. Okay, but that's I, really wonderful. Yeah, you are but, the dream. But I didn't know that uh, exactly that time only it will happen. We opened my trust, uh, like uh, our trust in uh, 2020 only, March 16th. Okay. Yeah. I think sharing that dream with Abdul Kalam sir was itself, you know, yes. uh, a wonderful thing because we'll never get a chance like that. Correct. So, it's good. So, could you tell us one something about what does your trust do? Where is your trust situated? Uh, actually, uh, we our trust situation uh, situated in the, that uh, Morgan's Gate. No? Okay. Okay. So, uh, I give you my number and all. So okay. Any, yeah. Anyone what want? does your trust do exactly? Like how it helps others? Uh, we uh, give op uh, employment opportunity right now and uh, we last year we did uh, public coaching service for uh, visually impaired people by online okay because okay. that uh, uh, due to covid uh, situation uh, we won't not able to open the office and all so online session we are used to give oh, to that's that's good i think you are uh, trying to give opportunities employment opportunities for many of the challenged individuals yes yes that's really a good uh, object. I think the society should support you in every way yeah, because you're yeah. doing such a wonderful uh, work. Yeah, I was requesting to society to give me support. So, ma'am, when you're doing this trust, do you reach out or they come and approach? Uh, we also reach out and sometimes they also come because uh, do, uh, through someone they come to know we are uh, so government office and all. No, we right. uh, told them uh, DDW and uh, DDRC some offices. Okay. So sometimes they reach us and sometimes we also. I uh, think in Mangalore we need to have more facilities to reach out to people. Yes. Right now there is a visually impaired uh, school from Seva Varthi which they have opened up. Yes. It's a free school. I think many of them would benefit from that. Correct. So ma'am, I would like to again ask you now, you are in Mangalore, you are living, you are uh, open your trust. What facilities do you think we have for the differently abled in Mangalore or Karnataka as such? And what more facilities uh, we could have? Actually we have to go more uh, in Mangalore I can say. Right now, I don't think there are a lot of facilities. I no, think. it's less actually uh, because uh, opportunity is less. Yeah, uh, basic. I think there's not even I couldn't find a differently able toilet also. Yeah. For disabled. Correct. I myself have a son. So, it is so difficult to uh, take him out. Correct. And there's no integration between normals. Very, very less. Yes. So, I think being visually challenged, you would know more about it. So, what more facilities you think we, we should have in Mangalore or in Karnataka to have a better life? First, we have we need to have awareness. Right, that's more, more than important, anything. Right. It's very very important uh, to small child to all elders also. We need to have awareness. Right, great. So, how awareness. to help them? No, if right. we, if people start to help others, other disability. So nothing. We don't need anything. <laughs> more right, that's. I think the awareness is the first part of this correct, journey. Correct. Then acceptance. I think yes. that's that's more uh, yeah. important. Yeah, acceptance is very important uh, and awareness. More than that, I don't think we. After that, other things are secondaries. No, that yeah, we but can still do. We need like yeah, lot of yeah. facilities. Sure. Mangalore has to come a long way. Yes. Yes. So I think yeah, with the support time, of I think uh, so. society. Correct. Uh, nothing is impossible, but I think along with the society, we need to create awareness. Awareness, mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah. Uh, we start from the beginning, that's good. Yeah. So, ma'am, what message would you like to give to other visually challenged uh, individuals out there and who will get inspired uh, and to all the families who are pulling them back, you know, like uh, you couldn't go out as you said. So, mm -hmm. what message would you like to give to all the other visually challenged? People? Other visually challenged, they should have a challenge in their mind, first of all, because the, if the parents say, don't go, they will think, oh, yeah, I should not go out because they are uh. stopping me, you know. That should right. be not there. I will go. I do myself like that. Uh, I mean, I do any, uh, whatever I want. Like that thing, 
should be there in ma- their mind i mm-hmm. think that hope they should not lose yeah, that hope yeah yeah they should not lose their hope first right. of all and second uh, that uh, they whatever they uh, wanted to achieve no right they uh, they should get support for that but uh, pa- from parents uh, uh, i would like to say for parents no right. like uh, they should also support them right true i think that support from parents from family friends is very much needed needed yeah right yeah so i'm um, i have i would like to ask you before we end like you have chosen the field of counseling you're uh, running the trust so are you satisfied with your chosen field uh, somehow i satisfied but i need to go more right that's yeah. it so it's not a, like a, it's not like sm- uh, uh, small journey i have to go more and more so I you need to work more, and, more. yeah yes. so that's really wonderful ma'am uh, we wish you all the best Thank uh, you. and if you'd like to leave a note for news karnataka yeah. what would you be first of all i i thanks to news karnataka because g- i they gave me this opportunity to talk to, with you today and uh, uh, i would like to request them that they should uh, uh, broadcast their more and more this kind of program no like awareness program right yeah that is my message for news of Ka- news karnataka thank you yeah really i think this is something new we have started to create specially the awareness in bangalore and wherever i think people who are watching this show despite having any challenges please do not give up hope yes we are trying to create awareness we need acceptance we need inclusion but let's come forward and embrace all those challenged individuals let them make them a part of your society because they are very important part so before we end this show so all the best to swarna ma'am thank, thank you, you very much and to every viewer please take some inspiration from swarna ma'am's lives or there are so many people out there we have experts to reach out to you please do not give up hope try to achieve whatever you can maybe little by little one step at a time but yes you can do it and that's all for today from walk the special path thank you thank you ma'am